Does the background removal feature in Camtasia 2023 work? Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so this is gonna be my first time trying out the background removal feature in the new Camtasia 2023. So let's see if this works. So I just did a screencast recording of a tutorial that I would typically do, and let's head over and grab the background removal. So it is located in the visual effects tab, and it's right up here at the top. If you wanna favorite this, you can hit the star and it'll go into your favorites, and it'll save you time if you wanna use this. For me personally, I don't typically do background removal, so that's why I don't have it starred at the moment. All right, so let's grab this and place it on and let's see if it actually does a clean removal. All right, I'm gonna drag this down to my camera, which is track number three here. All right, and so it did do a weird removal. There's like a weird thing happening here at the bottom. That's probably the microphone, that's why it did that. So let me just remove this border here because i want to see oh yeah that was that was the microphone that looks weird in that spot let's put that back on i actually think the border that i had on previously is helping a little bit because it's not taking it off so cleanly so let's see if we can make this look better so so far pretty good i mean the top part my hair is pretty good there's pillows around here, so it didn't get the pillows very well. The thing about having that kind of thing remove, you need to have really good lighting. If, you, if you're like filming and it's dim and stuff, it's not going to be able to differentiate the stuff. So the reason why my head and all that is good because, you know, I'm here on a, a white background, but the pillows aren't really lit properly. That's why it's not really looking that great. And so let's see... I'm gonna turn off the border and just let's let's see what it actually looks like. And then we have here in the background removal, you have its default is under balanced. So I'm not sure what that means. Let's go to accurate. That's even worse. So we wanna go balanced. And then let's see what happens when we do the feathering. What's this feathering? Oh, it makes me look like a like a ghost character. So that's like if you wanna do like a heavenly look. Don't want the feathering. Don't want opacity. And so let's see the blur. Probably don't want the blur as well. You definitely need a clean background in order to remove the background cleanly. But let's see if we can improve this. So I'm gonna go to the crop tool here and let's see if we can crop out the microphone because that just looks weird. And then we'll go over here, crop this. And then we can crop this and that'll be more of a clean crop here. And let's say it's something like that. So let's move that out of the way. And then so far we've got this and let's see what it looks like when we bring back the border. Okay, now the border's too thick. So it kind of looks cool there if we just make this a little bit bigger. It kind of look like a sticker now, like an animated sticker, which can kind of be a cool effect for social media or something. Maybe not for this tutorial, but for social media. And I would even clean this up even more because I don't like what's happening on the shoulders. So I would just cut that off and then cut this off. And then here I go being an animated sticker. So my hair goes a little bit in and out, but that's okay. I mean, if you're doing like a social media thing, it should be fine. The remove the background feature, it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than zero. So I would say I would use this for some fun social media tutorials where it doesn't need to be 100% accurate. Like it's okay to for me to post something like this on like my Instagram or something like that. But if I was filming a course or something, I probably wouldn't use this feature unless I had it well lit and properly lit and then it removed the background properly then I would use it. It's not perfect, but that's okay because you can tweak it so that you can actually use it. And even doing this, 
I'm like, oh, I can make myself into a sticker. That's really cool. So I might actually do that for some social media content. So that's the background removal feature. Again, if you want it to be clean, you need to have good lighting. And right now I'm only using like the window, which is only giving me the natural light. And so if I wanted this to be clean, I would probably have some umbrella lights and really light this thing up. So what do you guys think? Do you like the background removal feature? Are you going to use it? Let me know down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.